Hello, welcome to One Moment Wiser. This is Christy Bridges, and we've been talking about God's creativity and the joy we find at God's side. Now, this is the same God who helped Gideon win a war against people who'd been terrorizing his nation for years with 300 guys who were carrying jars with lamps inside, not weapons. So God is creative, but sometimes his ways um, are a little scary if we're used to doing things another way. If you're a soldier who's used to carrying a sword or a gun and someone tells you here, carry this lamp um, and God's going to win the war, then you might be a little nervous about trying that out. Well, today is trade in Tuesday. We are trading our old ways, our old thought patterns, our old, you know, ideas about how things would work for God's inspiration. Let's do that in the small ways, in the ways in our daily life. So Ephesians 4 says, I love the good news translation of this one. Get rid of your old self, which made you live as you used to. The old self that was being destroyed by its deceitful desires. Your hearts and minds must be made completely new. And you must put on the new self, which is created in God's likeness and reveals itself in the true life that is upright and holy. As we put on this new self, sometimes we end up, you know, winning wars gloriously, and other times we just build stronger characters. Because what really matters is what God's doing in you on the inside for eternity. So it goes on to say, <laughs> these are some of the old self things we have to put off. No more lying. Each of you must tell the truth because we're all members together in the body of Christ. Ah, but if I don't lie, then I can't just say, whoops, I overslept and that's why I didn't come to you know, your event. Or if I don't lie, I can't just say the check's in the mail when I haven't actually gotten it yet. If I don't lie, I might get in trouble. Well, you know, God tells us strongly how he feels about lying. And so we have to put off that old way and ask God for inspiration and grace so that we can tell the truth. And that helps us adjust our behavior, but it also helps us learn to trust his ways more. If you do not, it says, if you become angry, do not let your anger lead you into sin and don't stay angry all day. Well, gosh, if we're used to feeling right, I'm right. And that person just, you know, what is it? Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. I'm now I'm going to be mad and hold this resentment and this frustration at this person. Well, it says don't stay angry all day. Uh-oh. Because God has other things for you to focus on and he needs your attention. So we have to ask God for inspiration and the ability to let go of the anger and turn our focus on what he has for us. Don't give the devil a chance. It says, if you used to rob, stop robbing, start working. Hopefully you didn't used to rob, but you know, a lot of people have kind of blurred the lines a little bit to try to get more. You don't actually end up getting more that way. You get more when you do things right and God blesses you and there's no guilt involved. And he's free to give you of his abundance. So it says, if you used to rob, stop robbing, start working in order to earn an honest living for yourself and be able to help the poor. It's not just about you. Don't use harmful words, it continues, but only helpful words, the kind that build up and provide what is needed. Ooh, that's kind of a tough one because harmful words sometimes can be used to make people laugh, right? Um, I caught myself the other day having to apologize because I was teasing someone, but I teased them in an area that was kind of sensitive and I needed to not do that. So we have to not use harmful words, but helpful words, the kind that build up and provide what is needed so that what we say will do good to those who hear us. Well, you know, that might make you feel boring or that might make you feel 
hmm, a little uh, powerless when you want to try to change somebody. We have to trust God to make those changes and to give us inspiration for changing our language. It says, don't make God's Holy Spirit sad. The Spirit is God's mark of ownership on you, a guarantee that the day will come and God will set you free. You know, we actively put off our old self. We actively trade our old self for God's inspiration. It takes determination and persistence. But the Holy Spirit in us gives us the power and reminds us that the day will come when this won't be something we have to strain to do. We'll be living in fully in the freedom that God wants to give us, that Jesus came to give us. That's kind of nice. Lord, we come to you. Oh, we're not good at this sometimes. Our old ways are pretty ingrained. Lord, sometimes we don't even notice our old ways until all of a sudden they get us in trouble. But Lord, we ask that your Holy Spirit would show us, would stir us to do the right, would convict us when we do wrong. And we give our ways, our expectations of what should work, ways to protect ourselves. We give those to you and ask you to, to give us your character instead. Help us. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.